So what did they say when you told them, I'm going to pursue country now? Because sometimes, you know, people do make fun of us who listen to country music. They think, oh, you're going to be talking about, you know, your broken down truck and how you, <laughs> your wife left you and your dog left you and all that. Yeah, well, I mean, they've been around me enough to know what I was listening to and they, and they, they, they knew it made sense and they knew it was something I, I wanted to do. Like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't a secret that I wanted to do this eventually. But um, just due to the commitment that I had to the guys, it just wasn't the right time. Right? So. so you must look at a guy like uh, Darius Rucker, who had a previous life and mm -hmm. a lot of success with Hootie and the Blowfish. Do you draw any uh, similarities, or do you look at his career now to maybe gauge where your career could possibly go? Um, I, I didn't really look too deep into it. I just, I just, you know, I, I looked at that and said, you know, it can be done, and, and um, it can be accepted. And I just uh, tried to get the best songs I possibly could, and and try to make the CD good. So. You know, it would be accepted, you know? So, so far, what has been your experience with the country music fans? I'm sure they're a lot different than the rock fans, right? Well, I haven't done too many shows yet. Uh, actually, we haven't played any songs live besides acoustic stuff. So our first show is March 8th, and then I'll be able to make a gauge and, and answer that question. But uh, as far as radio people and label and, and uh, everybody, it's been great meeting everybody. New faces. And so, yeah. so with the shows, you don't imagine that you'll get as many bras and panties thrown your way. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but you never know. <laughs> well, I mean, look at Kenny Chesney. I mean, what do they call that? The pole of shame, where you guys hang everything on? To? Yeah, yeah. There's a couple bands that throw them on the drum riser and they hang them up on the on the mics and the drums and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so nobody yeah. in the country music world will tell me. Maybe you'll tell me. What did you guys do with all those bras and panties? Where do they go afterwards? Um, I know bands that have done that in the past. They've they've gone and donated it to uh, to women's. Uh, shelters and things like that. So they don't just get stuff in a bag in a garbage or whatever. Okay, yeah. so it's put to good 